So we're back to more bronze franchise mode, and this is the off season right now. So we're we'll getting off the free agency and just basically molding our team to the next team for next season. But we start off with maybe even a trade, potentially a trade. I said maybe a draft pick like a fifth or a fourth to the Vikings for cornerback Mackenzie Alexander. So he's not that bad of a cornerback. He's decent. He's okay. He's actually got 90 speeds. He's not that bad. So I'm gonna go pick up him. He's 24 years old, 76 overall, not or 78 overall. Let's go and add him onto the team if he can. Is there any interest? No interest. So let's go maybe add, I guess, I think we have another fourth this year in the draft. We have like, yeah, we have like two, three for fourth round picks on his work. Almost. Could I maybe another one? Let's send him another pick. And it almost goes. Are you kidding? We'll send him a six. We'll go through. And it almost does again. Are you kidding me? Uh, I'm not giving up that many picks though for a signal player. We'll probably find one in the free agency. So we need, we're looking for maybe a kicker, possibly a kicker. We're looking for a cornerback, a middle linebacker, and I think it's about it. Maybe even a backup right guard if we really need one. So go to free agency and see who's there. But we do, one thing about our team though is we don't have that much salary to deal with. We need to go probably trade some players. So when it comes to the first position of need, which is right guards. Right guard, we have a 79, a 75, 75, 75. So not too bad there, I guess. One year, 2.03. One year, 3.3. And two years, 4.06. Maybe this might be not bad of a trade, or about not bad of an offer. Ah, uh, he's got 86 strength, 67 speed. That's not too bad, I guess. It's okay. It's decent. So if we can, I'll offer him that. We don't have salary cap room, so we need to go make some trades anyway. So trades we could probably make. Gary Barnage probably might be one of them. Gary Barnage we needs probably needs to go. Just based on that he is older, you could probably get a little trade value out of him too, since he is. Oh, he was a Pro Bowler last year though too. That's another thing. So we go to tight ends. We do. Jarrell Green Beckham is better than him. 25 years old, 82 overall. 80 overall, 32 years old. He's a great player. He's making 1.89 million, whereas uh, Green Beckham is making 1.08. So we got a fourth, a fifth. And Gary Barnage for Eli Apple. Will it go through? And it almost does. So the only thing really don't like about him is that, that Gary Barnage is not a fast developer and he's 32 years old. So you couldn't get any business done with the New York Giants. So let's move on to the next team, which is the Packers. So the Packers, what do they really need on their team? They need a tight end, middle linebacker, and quarterback. So their needs are similar to ours, I guess, in a way. We do need somebody on the defensive line, we do need a cornerback, we do need a middle linebacker. The only thing we really don't need is a tight end and a right tackle. So let's go move on and see what they have on their team for corners. Do they have any good corners? They probably don't have a good corner if they need them. Uh, they got Quinton Rollins and they got Demarius Randall. Anyone else here, like a middle linebacker? Oh, they need middle linebackers too. But they do have Heath Gethers. Let's see what Heath has to offer. Oh, he's got slow development though. Uh, anyone else in here? We do have Barrington. Sam Barrington's not that good though, the speed. Let's move on to left outside. They got Clay Matthews, 86 overall. They got Fackrell. So this is Kyler Fackrell hat. He's not really that good at speed either. So I'm not sure what you really even get from this team. If we do need to get where to get anything. Uh, wide receivers, they have 10 wide receivers. Uh, let's, uh, we'll move on to the next team. Let's see if anyone else is interested in Gary Barnage. Before we deal anybody like Gary Barnage, how about that? Since Gary Barnage, we'll give him respect. He is a pro bowler last year, even though I don't know how he is a pro bowler. But we'll go on and find somebody we really don't need on this team. Like, say, uh, Sebastian Vollmer. Because Sebastian Vollmer, he did get replaced by a rookie last year. He was 80 overall, dropped down to 75. Let's go to the next. Who's they even want? Does anyone really want him? I do it, anybody really even wants them. So the best thing possible, because everyone everyone has right tackles practically. Uh, let's find somebody who wants a left tackle. Uh, it looks like the Raiders need a left tackle. Maybe steal a corner from them if the interest is strong, which it, which barely it. I, there's barely no interest at all for uh, Sebastian Vollmer. So you get two an 83 or an 83s, two 83s on their team. Uh, anyone good in here? Let's try Emerson. I just want to see what it looks like. This is obviously not going to go through. Yeah, there's barely any interest. Uh, let's try. Just a straight up pick. Let's go to picks. If we can get a fifth out of him, I'm happy. But we'll try a fourth though. Just always start off high and go down. It's not, barely even a fourth gets you any, barely any interest. So let's try a fifth round pick. 
Not even a fifth. Uh, and it almost dies. So a seventh round pick should work, though. Seventh, maybe next year. We made an issue going and signing him just based on he had no idea what he'd do good in the draft and pick up a right tackle is better as a starter than a guy who picked up at free agency. But if the seventh round pick does fit, though, and we finally got the $4 million offer salary, we got $11.8 million in the cap room. So I didn't really think we had $11.8 million in the cap room, so it's kind of odd, kind of odd there. So let's try this. So $1.9 million off from like $1 million straight. There you go. So 82 total points. Actually, we surpassed that. Actually, no, we're 82. There you go. So not that bad, I guess. Hopefully nobody else offers him. Let's move on to the next thing, which is cornerbacks. Cornerbacks, what do we have on here? We have Shields. Shields is pretty good. Sam Shields. So he wants $5 million for one year. Uh, Colvin wants three years, $12.2 million. Now that's okay. Uh, to the next thing, Joiner. Joiner is pretty good. You know what? I actually like Joiner. Lamarcus Joiner. Like Gary Barnett, he's gonna retire pretty soon. He's like 33 years old. He's kind of getting down there. He's probably gonna be a 75 next year. So we're getting rid of him before he gets really bad. But a third, a fourth, and Gary Barnage for Eli Apple. Let's try this. We'll go through, and it does. So we finally got Eli Apple on the team. We dumped that salary. We dumped like 500k. It's not really that big of a difference, but we did fill one need, which is cornerback, and I love that. So, we do have a, finally have a good cornerback in Eli Apple, besides Joe Hayden, obviously. So, let's go to defense, and there he is. So, we got Hayden, and we got Apple starting at corner. Finally, we have a good cornerback. So, the only thing is Quan Williams. Quan Williams, I love the guy. He's a great player. He obviously gets, gets like, tons of picks every season. So, we got to find a way to slot in Quan, but I'm pretty sure uh, two corners... Is there, oh, defense, yeah, we have two middle linebackers. So Eli Apple uh, kind of forces Kwan Williams out. So is Apple as good as Kwan? He's, like, way better. Yeah, we'll leave Eli. We actually did go and get him, so we got D Ford. We finally have a linebacker. So we'll go and flip him to right outside. So where is he on here? Uh, or middle linebacker, sorry. So go to edit player. Slot at middle linebacker. I doubt he'd be that great at middle linebacker. We just need the... I don't know. He's almost like a placeholder in a way. Because we're going to draft the middle linebacker, obviously. So we're going to save changes. Hopefully, he will be good, I guess, at middle. Is he good at middle linebacker? And he is a 70 at middle linebacker. Oh, he got it done. Uh, Junior Galette's not that bad, but he's a 79. We need him at right, obviously. So our linebacking situation is absolute trash after this, but we're going to draft the middle linebacker. Hopefully he's good. But let's go check out the college stats, or I guess scouting right now, and see what happens for linebackers. We need a linebacker to get to us. So I believe we have the 20th pick in the draft this year. Yeah, we got 20th, 16th, 20th, 20th. Okay, so we got the 20th pick in the first round. So we'll go to linebackers. We're going to pick a linebacker first round, obviously. So middle linebackers, who do we have on here? We do have Ricardo Levy. We got Milner, and we got Youngblood. So hopefully, if Youngblood falls to us, this would be amazing. Like, this guy is a stud. Overall stud around the league. Like, everywhere, practically. So if we get Emory Youngblood, it's going to be game over for the, the offenses around the, in, the NFL for next year. Playing against the Browns. Honestly, you everyone signs. Like, obviously, one big player is AP. Adrian Peterson, if he signs anywhere other than Minnesota, I'll be kind of ticked off. Because he should stay in Minnesota. But, oh, just as I say that, the Titans go and sign him. So... I don't know what's happening with Derrick Henry and DeMarco Murray. It just kind of messed up. They signed another cornerback, or another uh, running back. But we'll move on to the teams. I want to see this team, though. Because if you have AP, you have DeMarco Murray, and possibly Derrick Henry if they didn't trade him away. Like, why would you sign AP, though? So with the Titans and see why they signed Adrian Peterson when they already have two good running backs. Yeah, they, just as they said that, oh wait, they lost to Marco Murray. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. So Derrick Henry really didn't pan out too well so far. But AP, though, 86 overall, he's making, well, I guess he's not that bad of a salary, I guess. Yeah, I think, I don't know how much he's making, but he's probably making decent money over there in Tennessee. Can we check out the rest of the signings, though? So after seeing all these signings, I guess, in free agents, you might as well go and try and attempt to go sign some players, because signing one free agent is kind of stupid in the NFL, because you always need to get better, and I doubt really getting better is signing one free agent. So, let's get some of these players to release on the team. So, we got... We're not going to resign. We're not going to go and drop Sue, obviously. Kamalu really does nothing for us. Jason Battle. Beckham. Uh, what players can we re We're not going to drop Eli Apple, obviously. Steven Nelson. Maybe even Steven Nelson. Because this guy is 72, 25 years old. Does he have anything special about him? 
uh, he's got good speed and decent zone coverage. Uh, he's all right, I guess. But anyone else like Nate Orchard? He's making well, he's left outside linebacker. Ah, uh, he's not the greatest either though. 79, 66 tackling at a linebacker. I don't know if that really fits too much for his his uh, player grade. But maybe drop in, go ahead and try and sign somebody else because you really don't need a Nate Orchard. We already have a few linebackers on the team, so let's go ahead and cut Nate Orchard because we really don't need him. And there we go. So we got one one million in salary. I don't know, don't really don't know if he. Uh, is there any more players though? 500k. A lot of 500k players. Like Adolphus Washington on your two. Adolphus is he that any that good anymore? He's 71 speed. He's got good block shooting though. I like that. And decent strength too. We'll keep Adolphus, I guess. Because we do have a lot of defensive tackles. If you remember how many tackles we have, we have tons. Because if you go over defensive tackle, I doubt we need this many defensive tackles on the team. We have way too many. So you got Rashawn McGowan. It looks like he's the worst one on here, which is pretty surprising. Okay, and TV Blue, we drafted him last year. Uh, Danny Shelton's probably going to be a starter. So maybe release Adolphus Washington. We really don't need him anymore. Yeah, when you have a guy like Rashad McGowan, 78 speed, 83 tackling, he's, he's got some pretty good stuff to him. So let's go and release Adolphus Washington just based on he'll net us 900k if he gets released. So release Adolphus on here. There you go, we had 900k, so that's almost a million. Let's go how, many, how much money we have left to spend on free agents this year and see who's left too, because I doubt there'll be that many players left. Usually players, I guess some players tend to sign early, but two years, 12.1 million for AP. That's about 6.05, that's not too bad for Adrian Peterson for two years, especially in his last years of his career too. But going into this thing though, who do we have on here? Uh, we do need quarterbacks. So any quarterbacks on here, we have Ryan Fitz. Uh, I got AJ McCarron, but he wants like four million per year. That's no, nah, we're not giving that. Robert Griffin III, should we consider giving him back? I don't really don't know. Probably not. Nick Foles, even maybe even Nick Foles. Offer him a low ball offer. You're not gonna offer him one million signing bonus. He's trash. You're a 70 overall. You're not gonna get that one million signing bonus. Maybe even 500k, and you're lucky 500k. Uh, we'll give him that much money. There you go. Used to be good, now he's trash, but oh well. Oh, we gotta we'll go way down here. Way down. I'm not offering 15 million. So maybe even this offer, like 1.5 million for two years. He wants like three years, 14 million, or even one year. Uh, I'd probably wanna do. We'll try two years, maybe. We'll try that, maybe. That might be not that bad, because he's not that bad of a backup, but other than that, he's not gonna be doing it barely anything, because we do have Cody Kessler at backup. If q Rob tends to get injured, which he probably will this season, then we do a backup plan. But this guy 1.5 million, 500k, two years, we'll offer it. And that's 20 total points, so the chances of him signing with us are really bad. But I really don't care too much. Any cheap guys in here. So this newfound money, maybe even sign a linebacker again, because this time a middle linebacker. Because middle linebacker we do have, uh, got quick development, 28 years old. He's not that bad of a backup, I guess, if we go and draft one, which hopefully we do. Uh, three years, 2.1. Uh, let's try maybe like maybe three years, 1.8. Let's go through 78, so we're one point ahead of them. So I really don't care if we get him. If we get him, that's fine. If we don't, I really don't care. But that fills, at least fills one my my own my, what my needs basically. Because that way, if Emery the young blood does get drafted, which I really want him, it doesn't really matter too much. Because we can even slot him out at uh, left outside, even if one of our corner or uh, middle linebackers get injured. That could be pretty good, I guess, if there's an injury situation or not, but I don't know. He's just a good backup plan. But the rest of the things, though, I don't really need anything else. We do need to sign a quarterback. But to be honest, I don't want to waste that much money on a quarterback who's playing backup. Like, th like millions of dollars for a guy who's playing third string is really not that good of an idea. So if Nick Foles signs, okay, that's fine, but I don't know. I could have a big nightmare if it doesn't sign. So the rest of the positions, I really don't really even need the rest of the positions, unless right guard. Right guard, who we have here, we have John Grieco. We did let him go with 2 million for one year. Is he one of the cheaper options? We do have this guy, DeCass. We need strength. 78 run block, 79 awareness. We do need pass block, obviously. So 75, 81 awareness. I guess John Grieco is a pretty good offer, though. He's not that bad. He's a pretty decent player. So we're off on what we, what we got. We have even less than that. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we have no money to sign anybody. Oh my god. 
So let's see negotiations. Who do we try signing? We do have that middle linebacker. So let's move on to stage four, see if anyone signs with us. I doubt if they, if uh, Nick Foles will, but if the linebacker does, they're pretty good because we do need a veteran at middle linebacker. We just based on we do have Ali Godfrey. So Nick Foles did accept it though, even 20 interest points signed him. So we finally have a quarterback and bar two signed, we got a middle linebacker too. So it makes me, like our team's almost complete now, practically. We just need to go in, go into the draft, sign, get some young rookies, and that's about it. So finally, we do have a middle linebacker in bar two, it's pretty good too. So Bartu is there. We do have Ali Godfrey starter too. We have Galette and we do have Upshaw. So our linebacking looks pretty good. We do have one Pro Bowler in Upshaw. I don't know why Gillette really didn't make or Galette didn't really make Pro Bowl last year. But our defensive line seems fine enough to go start off the season going into the draft. Our offense looks great though going into this one. But one thing that will probably move Kenny Stills and uh, Malcolm Gilmore because I want Malcolm Gilmore to get some playing time. But the rest of the things that we'll go and get some more college players, we have tons of points to spend. So might as well just evenly distribute them within the first round talent and so on. Because if you do get everybody, like, even this guy, might as well get that guy in there too. Because I like always seeing all these guys filled to the max with their points. So even Overton's not that bad either. Johnny Overton. Uh, who else is on here? Right tackle. Get this guy. Might as well just spend all the points. If we don't... It'd be feel I feel like a waste. For the next thing, which is this guy. Lynn Sloan looked pretty good. Uh Jabane looks actually Drew Chapane looks good. Or Jabane. He's twenty four years old though. He's pretty old. At least for a quarterback standards compared to all the other guys. But uh yeah, Dyson. There's a lot of good quarterbacks. Kevin. Yeah, we have not enough. Okay. So I spent all the points there. I just want to go and wait. I didn't really want to waste them too much. I might as well just go and spend so my players. So I think we had the right talent in the free agency. Let's see the recap. So recap. Who signed where? Uh, so who signed where though? So Doonville's still a free agent. The league signing is a who signed. So Richardson, Richardson was, went to the Dolphins. Uh, Muhort went to the Lions. Drew Brees went to the New York Jets. So Drew Brees is a New York Jet. That's crazy. Uh, Rodgers went to the Rams. Peterson went to the Titans, obviously. Uh, Bengals got Johnson. Lawrence went to the Redskins. Rawls went to the Bills. Tavon Austin went to the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, Matthews went to the Bills. Penn went to the Raiders. Carlos Hyde went to the Jets. So Hyde and Brees going to be a pretty good pairing in there in New York. Anyone else, though, is pretty good. You got Buchanan went to the Colts. Wheaton went to the Ravens, Ward went to the Bills, Dante Moncrief went to the Ravens, so Dante Moncrief no longer a Colt, kind of sucks to see that, but anyone else who's big on here, really nobody else though, but wait, wait, hold up, word, Demary Davis went to, Demary Davis is a New York Jets, the Jets signed like tons of players though, they have Drew Brees, Demary Davis, Carlos Hyde, they did a great free agency, so I can check out their team after this. But that was a free agency, though. Nah, that was a pretty good free agency, I guess. No 90 overalls. Top was an 86. Or, or 89. But I took with the New York Jets, though, after that free agency. Because they did very well, though. Like, their team is not that bad anymore. Let's go to roster. And see what happened there for the Jets. we just go to the Jets. Because the Jets did a great free agency, though. So the Jets, who they have in it? They have Muhammad Wilkerson, obviously their top player, but a quarterback. They have Drew Brees, finally have a quarterback. Even if he is 39 years old, give him some slack. They finally have a quarterback. Uh, running backs, they have Carlos Hyde, 27 years old, 82 overall. Fullback, they have a good fullback, 22 years old. Wide receivers, they have Eric Decker still. They did lose Brian Marshall to retirement, which kind of sucks there. So no more, like the Brees could have paired up with Marshall, but he just wanted to retire this year, which kind of sucks there. Tight end, they have a great tight end though, Jason Flannery, drafted last year, left tackle's pretty good, left guard, like their team is not that bad anymore. And linebackers, they do have Darren Lee and David Harris, plus Demario Davis, they have three great middle linebackers there, even four, with Arthur Brown. So the rest, I really don't know, I guess, I don't know what our team really looks like too much, our team's not that bad, but let's go and see, I guess, oh yeah, I want to, I want you to go with retirements again though. I think one player who did retire this year, though, was Cameron Wake. So Cam Wake, I wanted to go and get him in that trade with uh, the Nadam Kasu trade, but it, I wanted to go trade for Sue anyway, just based on he was younger, and we got Sue. So it looked like maybe Cameron Wake could have been a Cleveland Brown, but didn't really want to do that since he was 35 years old, and he looked like he was going to retire anyway, and he did. 
So anyway, I guess I'm going to slip it off for here. Next episode will be the draft. The draft. We did have a great draft last year, so trying to make it an even better one, which will be pretty hard because we drafted a franchise quarterback, a franchise wide receiver, and so on last year. But anyway, I guess I'm going to slip it off for here. Make sure to like, subscribe for more Brass Fishers. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Watch out, oh, watch out, oh, watch out, yeah. That's my shot, that's my shot, that's my shot, yeah. I'm spending, I'm spending on my fucking pay. I got me some brazen, I got me some horse.